República, más temprano asistieron representantes de un nuevo tiempo, de la MUD, además, eh, Venezuela, están, we are live in Caracas, Venezuela, where the electoral chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice is holding hearings with the former electoral candidates of the July 28th elections. This is as part of the investigations into the electoral process that followed the July 28th election day. At this moment, the Supreme Court of Justice Electoral Chamber is receiving former presidential candidates who attend the call to the Electoral Chamber after President Nicolás Maduro filed an appeal to verify and investigate the electoral process. The court started the hearings today for the individual appearance of the former candidates and their legal representatives. Opposition candidates Manuel Rosales of Un Nuevo Tiempo, José Luis Cartaya for Table of Democratic Unity, and also José Simón Calzadilla for the Movement for Venezuela, were the first to appear today, earlier today. The highest judicial authority of the country also received representatives from right-wing organizations, among whom were Zulia Governor Manuel Rosales from a new party, José Cartaya, the Democratic Unity Roundtable, and, and also none of them presented either evidence or records to the judges. At this moment, the Supreme Court of Justice is receiving documents from former candidates of the electoral process that took place on July 28th. The political parties that supported the candidacy of Edmundo González Urrutia did not present evidence and also Edmundo González didn't show up today at the Supreme Court of Justice defying the orders from the President of the Supreme Court, Carislia Rodriguez. According to the President of the, of the highest judicial authority of the country, Carislia Rodriguez, the failure to appear before the Electoral Chamber will have the consequences provided for in the Venezuela's current legal system. That's what she warned when she sent the subpoenas to the political parties earlier this week. The extreme right registered for elections and also put up election witnesses, but since before the electoral process, Edmundo Gonzalez had already announced that he would sign fraud even a month before the elections were held in the country. At this moment, the president of the Supreme Court is entering the courtroom and sitting before the representatives and is offering statements to the press, people present at the courtroom. According to the Supreme Court President Carlisle Rodriguez, as we mentioned earlier, the failure to appear before the Electoral Chamber will have the consequences provided in Venezuela's current legal system. Let's recall that the former candidate of the Great Patriotic Poll and President Nicolás Maduro will appear on Friday before the Supreme Court. This political coalition is prepared to deliver 100% of the electoral records that are in their possession. That's what the president assured earlier on Tuesday. This week, the Supreme Court President Carislia Rodriguez, who is at this moment addressing the people present in the courtroom of the Electoral Chamber of the Supreme Court, Carislia Rodriguez summoned all former presidential candidates to present the electoral records in their possession as of today, August 7th, until August 9th. We were live to Caracas, Venezuela, where the Electoral Chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice is holding hearings with the 10 former electoral candidates of the July 28th elections as part of the judicial investigations into the electoral process and inquiries requested by re-elected President Nicolás Maduro. This is all for the moment. Stay tuned with From the South.